Have you ever noticed that while pouring some shampoo into your hand while you're in the shower, that a small stream of shampoo squirts out of the pile? Probably not. Let's take a look. You probably still don't see anything special, right? Let's observe what happens with a high-speed camera to get a closer look. What we see in this video is known as the K-effect. The reason that the K-effect is not observable to the naked eye is that it happens on a timescale of milliseconds, usually around 300. In the rest of the video, we'll explain how the K-effect works and why some materials don't display this effect. The effect was first discovered by British engineer Alan Kay. After discovering the effect, he stated, I can offer no explanation for this effect. Later, it was thought that fluids displayed the K effect due to a reflection of the jet on a solid surface, just like a bouncing ball. However, this theory was later disproved. Dutch researchers found that the K effect will happen in any fluid that displays shear thinning behavior. But what is a shear thinning behavior? For Newtonian fluids, like water, the viscosity is only dependent on temperature. For non-Newtonian fluids, like shampoo, however, the viscosity is also dependent on shear rate. A shear rate exists when a shear force is applied to a fluid, like as shown here. The shear rate is defined by the difference in velocities between two layers of a fluid divided by the distance between those layers. A fluid is shear thinning if the viscosity decreases as the shear rate increases. But why does the K effect happen for shear thinning fluids? When a shear thinning fluid, for example shampoo, is poured from a specific height, the fluid will first form a viscous heap, just like every high viscous fluid would do, Newtonian or non-Newtonian. Because the heap sipes up in a way that's not perfectly parallel with the incoming jet, the incoming jet will hit the viscous heap under a certain angle, and it'll slide along the viscous heap. However, when the jet slides along the viscous heap, a shear force is produced. Due to the shear thinning behavior of the shampoo, there will be a less viscous layer between the viscous heap and the incoming jet. The less viscous layer makes it so that the jet slides along the heap rather than joining it, and leads to an outgoing jet under a small angle. While the incoming jet hits the heap, it also exerts a vertical force on the heap. This force will deform the less viscous layer into a dimple. Due to this dimple, the angle of the outgoing jet increases. As long as the incoming jet remains at its current position, the dimple will deepen, causing the angle of the outgoing jet to keep increasing until it eventually hits the incoming jet and the effect comes to an end, forming a new heap. For our recordings, we used two shampoos and glycerol, which behaves like water. We made a flowchart to show that both shampoos are shear thinning because their viscosity decreases as the shear rate increases and glycerol has a constant viscosity for every shear rate. This leads to the following video for glycerol in which we don't see the K effect. And these fascinating videos for the shampoos where we can observe the K effect.